Hi there and welcome back. In your numerical analysis courses, you should have learned about the trapezoidal method. Below, we are going to implement it on two octaves. We are going to use trapezoidal integration method to solve the function 1 over 2 minus x. The trapezoidal rule will evaluate the area under the curve by dividing the total area into smaller trapezoids. So implementing it into octave, we have more than one way to do it. The first option is to use the loop statement. Second option is to use the vectorizing method. Third option is to use the quadrature method. Okay, let's start. Option 1, it's using the loop statement. We are going to start by saying tick, which will initialize a wall clock timer. We are also going to enter the number of points or divisions, which is n is equals to 10. Define the x-axis, line space 0 to 0 0.8 with spacing or columns of 10. Integral intervals of 0 and 97. Write the trapezoidal formula for evaluating each point on octave end. And then tock ends the wall clock timer since we started the tick. Octave also states that tock returns the number of seconds since the timer was set. So we should expect an elapsed time. Run your file, you should get an integral and the elapsed time. Now that we are happy, let's go to option number two. Option number two is using the vectorizing method. So define the number of points n is equals to 10. Define the x-axis function y is equals to 1 over 2 minus x. Then y is equals to sine y multiplied by y. MATLAB states that it returns the sine of the real or complex value of y. The sine of y or a complex number y is defined as y over absolute y. Also compute dx is equals to diff x. This will differentiate x with respect to x. Compute the trapezoidal vectorizing method. Run your file and you should obtain your answer. So, so far our answers are consistent. Let's go to the third option. Now the third option is to use the quadrature function. Quadrature function is already computed onto your octave. All you have to do is just write the formula. So the first thing we are going to do is write our anonymous function in the format of f is equals to at x 1 over 2 minus x. Then write the quadrature function for trapezoidal. Notice how we compute this. It's traps bracket x comma f of x. Close your bracket, run your file, and you should obtain your answer. The fourth one, we are going to calculate the integral for the trapezoidal method. Compute everything, run your file, and you should also obtain your answer. So there's really more than one way to solve for trapezoidal integration method on Octave. I hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.